Hi hey everyone, so welcome to day number six of learning Dutch and uh, I am about to do half an hour of learning right now so I've got all my stuff here together and I'm about to uh, do 30 minutes of solid study time and uh, if you've ever wondered exactly what my process is then today's your lucky day because you're about to find out. So first things first, tea is empty. So I'm gonna make a yeah, um, brand new cup of tea and then we'll get started. So, tea is made. Now it's time to uh, crack on with the language learning. And um, someone said it perfectly before. The idea here is just to learn a few words and phrases that you can use to make up pretty much any meaning that you want to convey in that language. And um, you can say this is very similar to something like uh, Lego because in Lego you just have a few building blocks that you can use together to make anything you want. So all you want is just learn a few words, few phrases, and then you can just mix them up to make any kind of sentence that you want to learn. Okay, so I'm gonna get started right now. <laughs> Okay, so I've just been watching a video and uh, the video I was watching was uh, it was called Easy Dutch and I was watching video number one. I'll put a link to that in the description and uh, this is what the video looks like. So that's the video that I've been watching and uh, from that video I've uh, jotted down a few phrases that I think are really important and uh, in particular I've actually underlined the words in those phrases that I think are really really important. 
Let's see if you just take a look. There you go. That's what I have. Just a few phrases and words. Just things that I think are really crucial. And I'm just going to explain why I chose these, these, uh, these particular phrases and uh, why I've underlined those words, just so you can get an idea of my, uh, my thinking process when I'm doing this. So uh, the first one says, um, let me open this up here. So it says, in het Netherlands, zegi ja. So uh, the meaning of that is in Dutch, uh, you say yes. So in het Netherlands, zegi ja. And uh, the reason I've uh, chosen this uh, the sentence is because it's called the word het. Now I noticed the word het shows up a lot in, uh, in Dutch. I'm not really sure exactly what it means um, in terms of is there a direct translation of this word in English. The closest thing I can um, think of is uh, the word it or the word the. So I'm not fully clear on what this word means yet, but I'm starting to see this word a lot. So I've underlined that word so I can start to think about that word next time I see it. Uh, the next phrase is, uh, dit is heel goed. So, dit is heel goed. Dit is heel goed. And uh, this means that uh, this is very good. And the word I've underlined in there is heel. Because heel means uh, very. Now, you can use this word in so many different situations because if you know how to say something, you can just put very at uh, the start of that word and that really allows you to express yourself even more. So if you wanna say um, um, cold, which is cold in Dutch, you can say uh, very cold, which would be hell cold. And um, you can use that with pretty much uh, most uh, most words really, you can just put very in front of it. You can express yourself a lot more. So very is a very important word. And uh, the next phrase is uh, that is schlecht. That is schlecht. So schlecht means bad. And uh, obviously the word bad is a word that uh, is very important to know. So if you see something and you want to say, oh, that's bad, or if, um, let's say, something's happening, you want to say, oh, this is bad, or if maybe you're tasting something, you think, oh, this is, this is bad, you can say, um, schlecht, so schlecht, that is schlecht, or uh, dit is schlecht, so schlecht is a very important word. Uh, then you've got uh, the next phrase, which is, uh, ich will het niet. So, ich will het nicht. So, I've actually underlined two words in that phrase. So, the first word I've underlined is will. So, will means want. So, if you want something, uh, you'd say, ich will het. So, I think this is a pretty useful word that you might need to, uh, you might need to use. So, let's say, for example, if you went to a uh, restaurant, and uh, you wanted to order some food, you could just uh, maybe pick up the menu and say to the uh, the waiter or the waitress, oh, um, ich will het, which means I want, I want that. Or you could say, um, probably just to be a bit more polite, you probably say, um, uh, danke vel, which is uh, thank you. So if you went to someone and um, you said, oh, uh, ich will et, thank you well, which means uh, I want this, thank you. It's, uh, it's a really basic way of uh, conveying that you want something, but it would do the job and people will understand you, which is the most important thing. And uh, the other word in that phrase, which I've underlined is 
big one. So this one is very, very important. So the word is neat. So neat means uh, not. So uh, the way it works is we've got a phrase which says, ik will et neat, which means I don't want it. So by putting neat at the end of uh, I want it, it turns it into I don't want it. And this is pretty, pretty big because that means you can use that to uh, say the opposite of something. And uh, let's say you know how to say, um, you know how to say cold, but you do not say warm or hot. Uh, you could say cold neat, which means not cold. And uh, if you want to say, um, if you want to say good, if you know, if you already know how to say bad, which is schlecht, you say, oh, schlecht neat, or that is schlecht neat, which means that is not bad. So this means that uh, in terms of learning adjectives and words to describe things, you don't actually need to learn how to say both words, because if you just learn how to say one of them, or if you just know how to say one of them and you don't know how to say the other let's say you know how to say um uh warm warm which is warm so if you know how to say warm and if you want to say it's not warm you just say uh het is warm neat so neat is a very very important word because you can use it in pretty much any scenario and uh, you can convey your meaning uh the next phrase is um ich muss darhen ich muss darhen so ich muss darhen means i must go there and uh the word i've underlined in here is dar so dar means there and uh this is a pretty useful word because if you're asking for directions from someone and uh, if they say um, dar, as in it's over there, then you'd want to understand what that means. Uh, the next word I've uh, written down here is uh, vandag. So vandag means today, which is a really useful word. So if someone, if you want to say uh, to someone, I must, I have to go here. You'd say, um, if they ask you, do you want to go there today? They might say, oh, Vandag, Vandag. And uh, you'd want to say, yeah, Vandag, yeah, yeah, Vandag, which means just, just saying, yes, yes, today, I want to go there today. So um, I think today, today is a pretty useful word to learn. And uh, the next one is uh, ich begreif, ich begreif het, ich begreif het nicht. So uh, this word is actually pretty hard for me to say. And I'll actually show you which word it is. And there's that word right there. Begreif, begreif. So the meaning of this word, begreif, is to understand. So if you say ich begreif het nicht, it means I don't understand. And uh, this is, uh, if you just imagine a scenario where you would use this word, it could be that if uh, someone is explaining something to you in Dutch, they might say, oh, begreif, begreif, like, do you understand? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying to you? And uh, you'd want to be able to say, ich begreif et nicht, which is, I don't understand. Ich begreif et nicht. Or you want, you'd want to uh, be able to say, ja, begreif, which is, yes, I do understand. And um, the next one is, uh, ich bin ein Tourist. Ich bin ein Tourist, which means I am a tourist. So, ich bin ein Tourist, I'm a tourist. 
and um, the word I've underlined here is Ben because uh, Ben means um, what well, Ik Ben means I am. So uh, you can use this in so many different situations because um, Ik Ben uh, could mean I am anything. If you want to use it to say your name, you can say Ik Ben and then say your name. Uh, if you're cold, you can say, oh, Ik Ben cold, which a uh, Dutch person will probably will probably understand. So I've never heard that phrase before, Ik Ben cold, but I'm just putting together things here. So I know Ik Ben is I am, and I know cold means to be cold. I can say Ik Ben cold. Uh, if, um, I mean, there's so many situations where you can just use I am and a word. So I am, plug in a word and you can say something. So uh, I think Ben is uh, very, very important. So uh, that's pretty much it for what I'm going to get out of that video. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna try and um, mix together these words a little bit, try to create some new, uh, new sentences, uh, and just try to play around with these words just to solidify my understanding of these keywords, especially the ones that I've uh, underlined. So I really get to understand and really see how these words work. And um, that's going to be me done for, for the day, really. So that's going to be my half an hour of learning Dutch. And um, yeah, that's it.